Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I put a video out, so I figured I'd go ahead and put out the first video of 2017. Second week in January out here in Southern California. It's a beautiful day. We've had a couple days of rain, but super nice today. It's a little bit windy. Nice view of Santa Monica over there in the distance. Catalina Island. Today I'm going to do a follow-up on one of my previous videos where I installed a DNA air filter with a Stage 2 top on it. A lot of people have asked me what I thought of it and how it's worked out, so I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you. So as I cruise down the snake here, let me just go ahead and start out by telling you that I absolutely love this filter. It works as advertised. It makes uh, noticeably more horsepower everywhere. More so on the upper mid-range, but definitely more power everywhere. So let me tell you about the associated costs of it. The filter itself is, I believe, 70 or $80. And the Stage 2 top is $110. So after shipping, you're looking at about $200 for the upgrade. So you'll have to decide, you know, whether or not that's something you want to do. But let me uh, tell you some other things that you should know before you do it. When I first put the air filter on, the bike started running extremely lean, like dangerously lean. You know, that air filter, that um, air box and the air filter setup, it flows a lot more air. So you're going to need an aftermarket fuel controller or you're going to have to have your ECU reflashed. In previous videos, I've told you about how I've had my ECU reflashed by Two Wheel Dyno Works. And the great thing about those guys is once you pay to have your ECU flashed, you can send it back to them as many times as you want and they will reflash it for you at no charge. Just pay like seven bucks to have it shipped out and they'll do it for you, send it right back. So when I first, um, like I say, when I first installed it, I took it out for a little ride and I could tell right away that it was lean. So what I did is um, actually took it out and ran the bike for a while. And then when I knew I was gonna have the bike down for a couple days, I pulled the ECU out, sent it off, had it reflashed. It takes, uh, it was gone for about five days. It takes a couple of days to go out there and then they'll, they'll uh, reflash it for you the same day, send it back out. So the bike was down for five days. But you're definitely gonna need to uh, do something about your fuel map if you wanna change, if you wanna change the, uh, to the DNA air filter. So as far as ease of installation, yeah, it's super easy to do. If you can change your air filter, then that's all you basically got to do. There's nothing trick about installing it. So you just pull off your side panels, prop the tank up, four screws or five screws to um, get the top and the old air filter out, and then everything's just to drop in. So as far as my fuel mileage, I really haven't noticed a change. I get right around 50 miles a gallon, plus or minus a couple. And since installing the DNA setup, it really hasn't changed at all. I think as long as your uh, your riding habits don't change, you probably you're probably not going to notice any change. You know, it is flowing more air and it's making more power. 
But if, you're, uh, if your riding, riding habits don't change, chances are, unless your riding habits are like wide open throttle all the time, then you might notice a bit of a drop. But other than that, you're probably not going to notice much. I ride a mix of street, freeway, and canyons. Probably 50% of the time I just, I'm riding on the street. 25% on the freeway and maybe 25% in the canyons. And I don't take this bike, I don't take the FZ07 out into the canyons as much because I have a uh, an R6 that's more suited for that now. But this thing is still tons of fun. I love to take it out every once in a while. Got to rub the chicken strips off the tires. Thank you, sir. So short and sweet. I think that's about everything I can tell you about the DNA air filter with the stage two top. If I left anything out or you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, leave them below. Until next time, everybody ride safe, and we'll catch you later.